Hey there. Are you looking to set up a Plex media server on your Raspberry Pi? That's what I'll be covering in this video. Plex lets you manage all your movies, music, and photos in one place. And you can stream them to nearly any device, including Windows, Android, iOS, Fire TV, Chromecast, Xbox, PlayStation, and many more. So let's walk through how to install and configure Plex Media Server on your Raspberry Pi. But before we get started, I highly recommend you set up your Pi with the static IP address. And I've done a video walking you through this entire process, so be sure to check that out if you're having trouble. But if you're all set, let's get started by first SSHing into your Pi. Or if you're using the Pi directly, you can just start its terminal. The first thing we'll do is run sudo apt-get update to refresh our Raspberry Pi's packages list. After that, it's time to run sudo apt-get upgrade, which is going to update all of our installed packages. And if this takes a few minutes, just hang tight because that'll really make sure everything runs smoothly. The next command that we're running is installing a package that lets us use HTTPS when we're installing Plex. And unlike some of the previous packages that we've installed so far, the Plex repository requires the HTTPS protocol to be turned on. So this is basically taking care of that for us. The next two commands that we'll be running are going to be slightly long. And I strongly recommend that you copy both of these from the video description to make it easier. The first command uses curl to download a signed key that's provided by Plex. And with some of the pipes that are being used in this command, we are storing that key to our Pi's key rings. That's where all of our Raspberry Pi's trusted keys are being saved. And the second command that you can copy and paste is adding that key to the Raspberry Pi's sources list. Why is this important? Because the next command that we're running is another sudo app get update. And as you can see, our Pi can now check the Plex repository when it starts updating the packages list. And finally, this means we can install the Plex media server using apt install. And if you were able to follow the previous steps, your Pi should automatically use the Plex repository to get what it needs. And believe it or not, Plex is now installed. But you're probably wondering how you can actually access it. Let's first make sure that we're familiar with our Raspberry Pi's IP address. And you can easily do this by running hostname I. And if your Pi is giving you two different IP addresses like these, we really care about the first one, which is its IPv4 address. So at this point, before we try to access Plex, let's reboot our Pi using sudo reboot. And once your Pi is back online, let's start the browser on any device in your network. So now to access Plex, you'll put in your Raspberry Pi's IP address, colon 32400 slash web. When Plex web loads, you're gonna see a login screen. And at this point, you can do two things. You can either log in or create an account, which is completely free. Or if you wanna skip this, click on what's this on the very bottom and you'll have the option to skip this step entirely. For now, I'm gonna continue without logging in. And let's continue with the setup process by clicking got it. Plex Pass is not really that important or required because streaming media is free. So we can easily skip this step as well. And now the important part, let's set up the Plex server by giving it a name. And it doesn't really matter what you call it as long as you can easily identify it in your home network. So if you're trying to stream your media outside of your network, you can leave this checkbox enabled. But if you're unsure, you can uncheck it and come back to it later. Let's click next to continue Plex setup. Now we have the option to start adding libraries that we want to stream. I'll first add a library for movies and videos that I have stored on my Raspberry Pi. We can select movies as the library type and then give it a different name if we want. After that, click next and we have the option to tell Plex where movies are located on the Raspberry Pi. If you're confused about the folder structure that you see here, let me explain what's going on. 
let's say you have all of your media stored in home, pi, plex. You can easily point to that path by starting from the root folder or slash. And then from there, you can drill down to your home, pi, and plex directory. So I'm gonna select the videos folder here and then click add. And you'll start to see each library show up here each time you add new folders. And by the way, if you have music or other media libraries, feel free to start adding these here as well. So for example, I'm adding one for podcasts by selecting music as my library type. And then I'm renaming the library to podcasts. For the folders, I'm gonna use the same path as before, but pointing to the music folder. Okay, so we have two libraries added to our Plex server and we're ready to click next and then wrap up the setup process by clicking done. And you do have the option to pin libraries, but don't worry about what this is because we'll walk through that shortly. Click finish setup and then boom, our Raspberry Pi media should now start showing up on the homepage. And if you're seeing these warning symbols next to your Plex libraries, it's because you chose to skip logging into Plex. So if you're okay with that, there's nothing else that you need to do. But if you're wanting to get that fixed, click on activity and then go to dashboard. You'll see a warning symbol next to general settings. Click on that link and you'll have the option to claim the server. So let's do this and follow the prompts to either create a free account or log in if you already have one. And once you're logged in, you'll see that the warning symbols should be gone. And the Raspberry Pi Plex server should be claimed by you. So streaming media on Plex is super easy. And you can look at your libraries by going to home and then more. Again, movies and music are typically two separate libraries. And it really helps to organize these into different folders on your Raspberry Pi. And by the way, if you get annoyed by having to do multiple clicks to get to your media, you can easily pin each library from the three dots next to these. After that, you can get to each library straight from your homepage. Again, don't be limited by using a browser to access your Raspberry Pi media. If you have a PS5 or Xbox, you can use the Plex app from your console apps. And the interface should be mostly the same and you'll see all of your libraries showing up. And even on your mobile device, you can easily just download Plex from the App Store and then basically start streaming your movies and music instantly. But if you don't like installing things, you can always use your favorite browser and get connected to your media with just a few clicks. Thanks for watching. And for more on the Raspberry Pi or media servers in general, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you.